Okay then gang, so I just want to take this video to sidestep a little bit and I want to perform another audit on this app to see if it satisfies any more of the conditions or criteria that make up a progressive web app in the eyes of Google and the Lighthouse audit. So what I'm going to do is go over here and go to audits and I'm just going to keep progressive web app checked. I'm keeping the others unchecked because I don't want to deviate from PWAs at the moment. And I'm going to come down here and say run audits. So again, this is just going to run the report for us and then hopefully give us some results in a second. So before installable right here, this was all lit up because all of these three conditions were satisfied. But before these two right here, these were not. And now they are satisfied, these conditions. And these conditions are the current page responds with a 200 when offline. And now it does because remember, we have now cached some assets so that we can serve them when the user is offline. The index page plus any other pages that they might have visited while they are online. We cached those as well. And the start URL responds with a 200 when offline as well. So these two are both satisfied now. And we can see that now this is lit up as well. So it's nice to see that we're making progress. We now have fast and reliable all sorted, installable all sorted. This one down here, we have this one, does not redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS. Now that is going to come when we deploy the application because we're going to be using Firebase hosting. And when we upload something to Firebase, that is going to take care of redirecting HTTP traffic to HTTPS for us because it serves all our content over a secure connection. OK, so this is looking pretty good. We've made some good headway with our progressive web app so far. Now, there's one more thing I'd like to show you in this video, and that requires us to go offline. So let me do this and refresh. And then I want to go over to the console. And you see this thing right here, an unknown error occurred when fetching the script. Now, this is an expected error and it doesn't matter too much, but it's referring to the fact that it can't find the service worker because we've not cached it. And you know what? We don't need to cache our service worker because if we cached our service worker, then a new one would never get updated. Right. So that kind of defeats the object of having a service worker. So now we know that we're satisfying more of the conditions in our audit. I'm going to move on in the next video now to another part of this course, and that's to do with data. Now, to store data, we're going to be using a database called Firebase Firestore, and we'll talk about that in the next video.